Hello everyone, this is Satvik and this video is a complete tutorial of Evil WinRM tool. So before starting, so if you are new to my channel, so make sure you watch my other videos as well. And if you want to connect with me personally, you can check out my Twitter and LinkedIn. And also if you want to be part of this channel's community, you can check out my Discord server. All the links are in the description below. So Evil WinRM is like one of the legendary tools that you come across or you use mostly when you are dealing in an Active Directory network. Okay, so I set it up my uh, a domain controller here. So uh, this is my home lab. So to be simple, so and also you need can you need to do a little bit of configuration in order to make this uh, you know this tool work in your environment. So the first thing is like uh, how this evil WinRM is like. There is a service called as WinRM service. So it is available mostly on port uh, you know port five nine eight five and five nine eight six okay so 5986 so these are the two ports where uh, you know this uh, 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 winrm service runs so 5985 is like a plain text protocol and 5986 is some sort of like an encrypted protocol okay so whenever you scan your target against this particular ports or whenever you do a complete nmap scan and if you find out these two ports like any of these ports are like both the ports open then you can absolutely try out this evil winrm tool on this target okay so that's that's the point so the first thing is like uh, uh let's start with basic so evil winrm is uh, by default install like you can see few of my old commands here so just ignore them so it is by default installed on your machine so this is also this has like a very simple you know options like uh as for you can even use public and private key okay so you need to provide an ip you need to provide a username password you can also log in with the help of hash and also sometimes if the port is you know by default if it is not on like fine and it sometimes this port wsman port may be or like this port may be on different port then you can use hyphen capital p and you can use that okay so let's uh start so so yeah so the first simple option is like hyphen i so i'll just show you this thing so this is uh some of the configuration for example let us assume that uh, you have the administrator password for example like if you have a credentials and how to log in if there is an uh, winrm service running so you can use this tool so hyphen i provide the ip of your target the username uh which is going to be the administrator like whatever it is it can be an administrator or it can be dc admin or like whatever it is okay just hit enter that's it very simple and you will get your connection so if i type who am i you can see it's an administrator like uh, sometimes you may not always find out the administrator credentials by default but sometimes you know like you can try out like this okay and for example let's type exit and let's come out so for example i told you this for there are like two ports like fine and 85 and fine and 86 so this is for fine and 85 because you know like fine and 85 is a plain text protocol and uh, fine and 86 is you have some sort of ssl sort of stuff for example if you're dealing with the target which is having fine and 86 or this ssl related protocol then you need to use an option hyphen capital s okay here it is not having anything but i'll just hit control c uh y and guys assume a scenario where you have the hashes so all the time like you may not always have your password so for example i used a tool called a secret stump and uh, for example this may be my compromised user like the first user and you can see i dumped few hashes so let's copy and put them aside so you have few domain users here so let's copy them you know like not all may be useful but uh, you know like let's see yeah, these are the stuff that are useful. So administrator, guest, care, BTGT, Philip. Okay, so make sure you are getting the information, you know, for some useful, you know, hashes and sort of stuff. So let me put them in my notes. Okay, so this we have notes here. So that's fine. So you have this like NTLM v1 version. So you have this uh, uh, LM hash as well as this NTLM hash. So let's see. So for example, let us log in to this administrator user, okay, with the help of uh, uh, this particular uh, hash. So let me copy this hash. Okay, so let's go back. So in terms of this password, I will use this hash. Uh, I think it's capital H, I guess. 
yes it's capital h if you do small h it will show you the help pop help menu so let me hit enter now and you can see with the hash as well i logged in and also one more thing guys you doesn't need to mention the full hash like with this and lm hash as well like for the tools like psxec and smbxec you you are required to use the full hash so here it is not required okay so one more thing is like you can also log in with keys sometimes you may get the public key and the private key then the command is going to be something like this so you know like it's uh, hyphen c and just give the public key okay so sometimes in an asset assessment or in the ctfs you might find it so public key and then uh, option hyphen k for the private key okay that's it very simple then then you can log in okay so you can find like once i was in a ctf and where i got the public and the private key because there is like local file inclusion so a uh, directory traversal sort of vulnerability and i got all those files and i got access to this machine through the help of evil winrm so that is how it is done okay so you can also view the logs as well with option hyphen l for example you know like uh, hyphen l and you can get all the logs as well so the log files will be written like whatever the commands that you run and everything so that's also a cool option uh, if you are documenting the commands that you run or if you are taking the notes after the stuff so and let's go back so let's log in and there are a few uh, functionality here so let me uh, open a new tab and if i do an ls you have let's create a file uh, touch test okay so i created a file test so now you can upload this file okay so you can do upload and test okay so now you can simply upload a files and sort of stuff you know directly using this upload and download functionality so if i do a dir uh, let's see you can even download this download this test okay you can download this test and if you want you can put it in a different folder as well so okay it's downloaded to opt test we can do we can do ls slash uh, opt you can see we get we have a test file here so that is how you can use this functionality and also this control l and everything will works okay so now let's log in once again and we have few modules here okay so you can type menu command and you can see few modules over here okay so you can use any of this module like for example if you type services so you can see what are all the services that are running we can also use some default scripts that are on our kali machine and uh, without any hesitation or anything like that you can run it directly you can see there is an option called as hyphen smallest uh, which is for the powershell scripts and uh, you can see that i have one of the powershell script in my uh you know this uh, opt directory which is invoke mimicats.ps1 okay so let's try to run this so in order to run this so the same command just give hy uh, hyphen smallest and just give the path that's it very simple okay so now we have connection to the path so now the first command is like we need to run an option bypass 4 msi okay so you know like for uh, you know like for bypassing all this antivirus and sort of stuff so that is how it is like i'm not sure how good it is compared like compared to that of like real time antiviruses like kaspersky and stuff but you know uh, if you are in a ctf environment then this would do the trick okay uh then we need to run this command invoke mimicats.ps1 okay So we need to just wait okay so like this you can run the powershell scripts as well so this is like a cool advantage okay then once you uh, execute that powershell script i'm going to hit control c because this is going to take a lot of time from mine so that is how you can basically do like without even uploading every time so you can uh, choose a path for s uh, to give the uh, this uh, ps1 okay this powershell scripts and the same option there is an option simply like an for executables as well for example you have a, a winpeace uh, file winpeace.exe here so then you can use this hyphen e so like you are providing the executables path and then you can use this option like uh, uh, you know like i'll just let's download this winpeace and i'll show you so 
so we are in the winpeach directory so uh winpc uh binaries okay or else you can directly go to this psng okay and you can go to this releases okay so you can directly download it from here this is the better way so let's go with winpeace any so just copy the link okay so let me go to the opt directory cd slash opt w get and just paste it okay so now we have this winpeace any as well so now let's load the same okay so for this also you need to run this bypass for msi it's not always required but you know like uh, it's better to run it for the first time okay so invoke invoke binary okay and the location that's it very simple so slash opt win piece any executable and these are few stuff guys that you can do and as always as always there are few some inbuilt stuff within the evil win rm like you can go through with the menu option and you can try out them and also I'll leave the link for the evil win rm tool documentation so you can go there and check that out if you are having any doubts and stuff and this is it guys for this video i hope i covered everything important so that you guys can use this video as a reference when you are in a active directory pen test so if if you feel that my explanation is good enough and if you feel this video is worth your time just like it and do share with your friends or family members who are really interested in these sort of stuff this is satvik signing off and i'll meet you in the next video thank you